that's true, Tom. That's a wonderful thing to say. Um, the next stop that we have on our world tour is Germany. And we have many people helping us there. Oliver is the one who runs the fireside chat for you every month. And he has de really dedicated so much of his time to helping mm. MBT. He has a wonderful website mm. called Well, he, he not only uh, runs it, he also pays for it. Right. So he has... He has donated both his time and his money to make that happen. Yes, and you can donate on his uh, Major Bisson website. You can do that to help support um, his mm. server that serves the yeah. fireside chat. Yeah, that whole fireside chat was, was his idea. Oliver, yeah. Oliver came up with that idea. He came yeah. up with the software that could do it, the connection to the hardware that hosts that software, Put all the technical parts together, and and uh, kind of presented it to us to use, and it's been wonderful. We are now on number thirty of the Safari Side chats. This is what we did just last Sunday. We did the right, Keith. It was number thirty. We did the thirtieth Fireside chat. So that's thirty times we sat down for three hours. So 30 times 3 is 90. We've put almost 100 hours. We've got 90 hours worth of, of uh, audio and video that uh, has been created with uh, Oliver's scheme, and it's very well received. People love it. They learn a lot from it. Uh, the questions are generally good. And uh, I think all of those hours, <laughs> all 90 of them, were edited by Justin Snodgrass. So there's the other guy that really needs a, you know, a little applause for yes. uh, his contribution to that fireside chat. So between Oliver and Justin, they've put almost 100 hours of uh, question answering time uh, by me and, and question asking time by a host of others out there on YouTube, invaluable resource. So we thank uh, them. Yeah, and besides that, the uh, Germany also like India has a claim to, uh, to uh, in a different way, to being also a source. You know, the, the uh, German philosophers that were the idealists, they, uh, well, they weren't all just German philosophers, but the, the, the crux of them, the main, the main uh, core of that group were German philosophers. And a lot of their ideas are also well represented in, in, with the MBT uh, philosophy. We uh, aren't exactly like the idealists um, in those days. There's probably some differences between us, but the core concepts are, are the same. And of course, we have the, the German uh, scientists who help make quantum mechanics uh, exist. So all of those are kind of central to uh, to my big tow scheme, and uh, kind of that sort of feels like going home as well. You know, that's another part where you're you're there to the to the core, where a lot of these ideas took root. You know, a hundred years ago, they just weren't focused from a scientific perspective. Then they weren't understood. Even the double slit that started uh, and was and uh, was pushed forward by German scientists and others. Einstein and, of course, Bohr in Copenhagen, you know, Danish physicist. Uh, there were others from around the globe, but the Germans tended to be the, uh, the, the majority there. And they indeed um, did help create the, the answers, if you will. The uh, Schrodinger wave equation was uh, obviously a German invention named after uh, Schrodinger. So that's another, that's another one that uh, is going to be really uh, special to me when we, when we get to Germany and I can talk about some of the very same things that have been a part of their culture for, you know, for 200 years. That'll be wonderful and I know they're all looking forward to it. I'm both happy and sad to say that Germany at this time is sold out. So if you'd like to be on a waiting list, you can you can email us at MBT Events, Donna or Keith at MBT Events. Mm -hmm. um, we also must thank in Germany uh, people who helped with their ideas and their uh, research. Uh, Harold Malaya 
and many others uh, who have, have helped us out. Thank you for that. And uh, vielen Dank an, an alle unsere, alle Freunden. Let's try it again. <laughs> vielen Dank an alle unsere Freunde in Deutschland. Sorry, it's been 40 years since I've been here. <laughs> yeah, that was very good. Okay, and we'll yeah, see well, you there. Well, you know, the, the, it's a remarkable thing. It, it's very hard to sell tickets to something that's a year away. That's a very hard sell for people to go out and put money down for something that's that far out in the future. How do the, you know, they don't know whether they're going to be able to go or not because it's so far away, it's hard to tell what might happen in their life, where they might be, you know, how circumstances might change. But uh, they stepped up and uh, did that, and it's because of the early participation of the Germans in this event that we're putting on there that we were able to make this trip at all. If it hadn't been for them stepping up early and giving us some of the of the uh, seed money that we needed, you know, to book the venues, to buy the plane tickets, those sorts of things that uh, we needed to have cash to cover before we could actually go forward with it. If it wasn't for them, we may not be making this tour. We may have, uh, you know, opt out with the idea that, uh, you know, it wasn't going to pay for itself. But they showed us that it would pay for itself, and uh, we. Uh, Appreciate that, and owe a, you know, owe a lot to them for giving us this this opportunity. Although, although Tom, I think it's fair to say that it's not just Germans that are coming to Germany. We have got people coming from all over Europe, and you know that mm -hmm. always means a great deal for us that people make an effort to come from a distance right. to different locations. We're sorry not coming to your country, but thank you to for, to you for coming. Yes, absolutely. Ger Germany is our uh, European connection on this tour. So it's the, uh, it's the go-to place for all the people uh, who are within uh, traveling distance or an easy flight distance from Germany. And that's... Uh, yeah, well, I think, Tom, you've always had a, an international audience no matter where you were. Just recently in LA, they've come from all around the world, and we found that to be true in London. But in, in Germany, in Frankfurt, uh, this trip, it is a preponderance of um, the Germans that have booked. So thank you to all of them and to everyone else around the world for making that trip possible.